What's up, reprobate? We're here with Dallas. Yeah, What's up, brother? Uh, we're gonna do a little thing of the TL today. All right, we got the TL. Update on the TL, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. I guess from front to back, just like how I did it. Yeah. So we got a new J-pipe. We deleted the third cat on the car. Um, and then after that, like a few months after that, I got a full three inch single exit to the back because I think single exits look sexy. And then the car kept braking. So I had to install a new camshaft position sensor. I had to take the entire throttle body off, clean it and put a new gasket on. Oh, I got new spark plugs and coil packs because it was misfiring, so. <laughs> And the, the biggest thing on the outside is these, these babies. Ooh. Circuit CSF1 wheels, um, 17 by nine plus 20 offset. And then I have a three, mil, three millimeter spacer in the front. You can't really see it, but yeah, but she's, like pre, she's pretty close to the brakes. That's cool, I have big brakes, so I don't really care. And then no spacers um, back here. Yeah, no spacer, just straight up. And then we got this thing right here, that big fat. Uh, I believe it's a four inch tip to a six inch barrel. And then I got a, uh, that's a Blocks Racing N1 muffler, by the way. You should check them out, they're pretty cool. Um, that's not, that thing sounds beautiful. I put a, what's the brand? Vibrant Ultra Quiet Resonator straight through. I was gonna get a squirrely one, but they're not true straight through. I have a lot of stuff to do on the car. I have, I ordered an 80 millimeter throttle body, so. That's another 12 millimeters on top of uh, the stock throttle body. Intake runners, spark plugs and coil packs like I mentioned. I'm getting new solid motor mounts. There's a lot of stuff going into this car this summer and coilovers obviously. He's monster trucking right now a little bit. So, and I'm gonna get bigger tires. I'm gonna get 245s. These are 225s. I want I want more grip when I'm going fast. So we, we, are, we are definitely running through this interior. So, I am ordering black seat covers, all new carpet from Acura. This is a little messed up, um, but yeah, we're going full black on the interior and then we're going with a suede headliner. You can see, I don't know if you can see, see how it's not attached. <laughs> That's the point of buying this car. I wanna, I wanna work on it myself and do everything myself, make it look good. I mean, she doesn't look too bad right now, if I'm being honest. So. Don't buy Meguiar's uh, clear coat stuff for your headlight, look at this. Cool. They're screwed. Yeah. And then I can't remember, did you have the wrap on the hood when we did the last video? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we might have carbon fiber wrap that obviously yeah. has been taken off. Kind of see fluid right there. Um, I don't put a fake carbon fiber wrap on my fully <laughs> non-carbon hood. New windshield wipers. I also took the black wrap off the roof. There was black wrap on here. I think you that was like the first thing you did. Yeah. yeah. You can still see it right here. I gotta go around the windshield and take it off, but... Yeah, we did that. I'm not sure I filmed the trunk. I think I just you posted it on, it on Instagram. Yeah, uh, we put it on the Instagram, but I got a new trunk because the other one had holes drilled into it from uh, the previous owner with the spoiler. But, and uh, shout out to our Instagram so you can see that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, that was a long we, time ago. That was post, like almost a year ago. We post ago. more on there than we do in here. Yeah. That was like... It's a lot easier to post on there. Like September. <laughs> Tail lights, uh, LED side markers, I, I don't really care about all the dents and stuff on I don't really care about all the dents. I'm, I'm just gonna leave them. The, the Accord had dents too. I'm not too, it's not a show car. Yes. We got the classic TL rust here on the quarter panels. It's on the other side too. This is getting fixed and I have color match paint already. So, and I'm getting a new rear bumper because I don't know what they did, but they hit something. They <laughs> hit something right there. <laughs> yeah. Riley and I both need rear and front bumpers. So. Yeah. This isn't as bad as mine though. Oh my god, mine yeah, yours. <laughs> Someone. That's probably like a little hit and run in like a grocery yeah. parking lot or something. <laughs> but yeah, we went to that reprobate car meet with these things with the wheels on and stuff. They look pretty good there. Yeah, they look pretty good. We thought that anyway, however. Nobody uh, else really looked at the TL, but they were they were looking at the wagon A little here. bit. I think more more people were surprised that I brought a narrow body, a narrow body WRX to a car meet. And then this. Did that you will get replaced that? with the front bumper. Yeah. So, but I'm more focused on performance at the moment. So we're going to fix everything in the engine bay and then we'll move on to interior and then exterior. But yeah, I'm not really too concerned with how my car looks because it's not a show car. It's a car to have fun in. Yeah. And I will try to film as much of that as possible. It's hard to film 
when you're under the car constantly yeah. <laughs> trying to fix these. It's easier to film when we're both there, but at the same yeah. time, you never know. We'll try to connect more and then film while we're both working on our cars. Yeah. For the viewers, why not? Yeah, it looks way better. It smashes my arm in the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! That's my filming hand. Okay, guys. <laughs> Nothing any well the engine noticeably different. Remember we showed it in the first video. I cannot remember that first video we filmed. That was already blue. That was blue. I don't they went all blue on this car. I don't they just start spray paint stuff, but I obviously got a new intake. I think that was in the last video. But um that's for the viewers to tell us. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got the I got the rack replaced for the got the steering rack replaced. That was that was nine hundred dollars, so that was fun. Um, yeah, transmission mounts. Those things are nice. Makes it way clunkier when you're shifting. Yeah, I think the next thing I'm gonna do is these guys, coil packs and spark plugs, because it misfired. So Clearly, it was pretty ghetto that. before. <laughs> it did not have a battery hold. Not yet. Don't don't buy AutoZone batteries. These things are pieces. Of shit. Look at this. Look at all that acid built up. Power steering pump, cheap. I have to replace that again. Uh, brand new starter, cause um, you got. If you guys saw on the Instagram, my clutch went out, or the clutch line snapped. This clutch line right here, completely uh, was rubbing on this and had a hole through it. This guy right here, I got it brand new from Honda uh, down the street, um, and we had to replace that and bleed the clutch and all that. I tried to start it with the clutch in it while it was in gear, and it just grinded. The whole starter was ruined. I had to replace it, but I got a nice new Denso manu remanufactured starter. So she's coming together. She'll come together. Yeah. Eventually, both of our cars will. You've definitely done a lot more uh, mechanically than I have this Uber. <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. Oh, I replaced this too. Accelerator pedal position sensor. That's fun. That was actually, that actually took me ten minutes to replace. So that was a big deal. Yeah. This car will look completely different. Hopefully in the future. Sound clip. Sound clip time. Y'all want y'all y'all want to hear this thing? If there's a knocking noise in the background, don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> don't worry, it's just the axle. Oh wait, you're not moving. It's the accurate <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty good now. I like it on the yeah. parking garage. Like, it's not raspy either. It was going all the way around. Oh, yeah. I was like, Boo. It's <laughs> not raspy. That's why I got the old quiet resin resonator. Does it sound like a Honda? Yeah, it, get, it gets rid of that uh like VQ rasp that you hear in G35s and stuff yeah. where it's just a straight pipe to the muffler. I mean it still sounds like a Honda, just yeah. not sounds a little bit more refined. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Yeah. They look pretty good together. And I got that picture of you fixing your Toyota X before the meet. And, uh, <laughs> you did? Of it. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> we'll put that right in this video now. <laughs> okay. All right. That's the end of that video. Um, there's the TL. Try to update you guys more. Try to film more videos of us doing stuff. So make okay. sure to subscribe and like, and we'll see you later.